Come and watch the grasshopper teach us something new today. Here's the plan for today's video. First, we will learn all about facts and practice proving why a statement is a fact. Next, we will learn about opinions and practice explaining why a statement is an opinion. At the end is the bonus! You will practice identifying statements as either facts or opinions. Make sure to click the link below for more practice activities. A fact is a statement that we can prove is true. There are a few ways that we know a fact is true. Sometimes we can use our observations from our eyes, ears, nose, mouth, and body to prove a fact. Here's an example. The car is yellow. This is a fact since we can see with our eyes that the car is yellow. No one can challenge this, so it's a fact. We can also prove a fact is true by looking it up in a source, like a book, video, or website. This is a really important step to take when we can't use our observations to make sure the fact is true. Remember, a fact cannot be challenged because there's proof to back it up. How do we know something is a fact? Besides observations, facts can fit into these types. Events, numbers, and scientific information. Event facts include specific dates or historical information, like the colonies declared their independence from Great Britain on July 4, 1776. Number facts include amounts and statistics, like about 10% of people in the world are left-handed. Number facts also include measurements, such as the Eiffel Tower is 1,063 feet tall. Finally, there are scientific information facts. An example would be, all humans have a brain. These are all facts because they are true and can be supported by reliable proof. We need to make sure facts are accurate with research, research, research. This is especially important if someone tells you something is a fact, but it doesn't sound quite right to you. To make sure a fact truly is a fact, we can check different sources to make sure it's reliable, truthful, and supported. Here's some examples of facts. Arizona is in the United States. We know that this is a fact because we can observe a map and see that Arizona is located in the U.S. Here's another statement. Rosa Parks refused to give up her seat on December 1st, 1955. Now you give it a try. Pause the video and think about how we know this is a fact. We know this is a fact because we see a date. We can check that this information is true and accurate by looking in different history books and articles on history websites. Now it's time to discuss opinions. What are they? An opinion is a statement that tells a thought, belief, or feeling that someone has. Opinions may only be true for me and not everyone else since people can have opinions that are different from each other. Sam says, I think building games are the best. His friend Pat says, I love action video games. They have different thoughts and feelings about the best type of video game. This means that their statements are opinions. There are many words that signal a statement is an opinion. Some thought and belief words you might find are think, prefer, imagine, or believe. Some feeling words might be enjoy, hate, favorite, or love. And some adjective words are best, worst, boring, and easiest. Let's take a look at some examples of opinion statements. My favorite ice cream flavor is strawberry. I know this is an opinion because it uses one of the signal words, favorite. I also know it's an opinion because not everyone thinks strawberry is the best. People can have different favorite flavors. And here's a tip. Sometimes our opinions can change. I used to love chocolate chip ice cream, but now strawberry is the one I enjoy the most. Here's another example of an opinion. I fell asleep because the math lesson was so boring. You give it a try. Pause the video and think about how we know this is an opinion. 
We see the word boring is used in this statement, so we know it's an opinion. Thinking something is boring is a belief that I personally have. We need your help deciding if a statement is a fact or an opinion. Are you ready to play? Here's the first statement. It is 20 degrees Fahrenheit outside. Let the countdown begin. And the answer is fact. It's a fact because we can tell the exact temperature by observing the thermometer with our eyes. Burr, it's cold today. Are you ready for your next statement? I love the cold weather. The countdown begins now. It's an opinion. The word love signals that it's an opinion because it's how I feel about the weather. But someone else could feel differently. Awesome job. Is this a fact or an opinion? The donuts taste more delicious with every bite. Your time to decide begins now. The answer is opinion. We know that someone else can think differently about how the donuts taste while eating them. Here is your final fact or opinion. There are four different types of cookies in the box. Begin the countdown. It's a fact. Since this is an observation that we can make with our eyes, anyone who looks in the box will see four different cookies. You did it! Remember, a fact is a statement that can be proven true. We can prove it's true by researching it in books or online. Some types of facts are observations, events, numbers, and scientific information. An opinion, on the other hand, is a statement about our own thoughts, feelings, and beliefs. People can have different opinions about the same topic, and our opinions can change. Words that let us know it's an opinion include I think, I believe, best, worst, and my favorite. Great job learning all about facts and opinions. Looking for a complete lesson? Be sure to check out our paired differentiated activities. Find the link in the description below. Thanks for joining us to learn all about facts and opinions. Follow Grasshopper and shop our ELA resources. Check the description for quick links.